Yeah. I'm not sure if you're recording or not. I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thanks. Alright. That happened. What's up, YouTube? Four subscribers. It's not a lot, but it's a start. Welcome to this video on how to quit your job. I've actually quit my corporate job a few months ago to pursue my lifelong dream to become an entrepreneur. I actually love to go to work now and it's my favorite hobby. So are you a person that is having doubts about this current job or have you made the decision already and you don't know how to do it? I'm glad to tell you my experiences. For me it was actually very good, no hard feelings. People were actually pretty sad I was leaving and I just want to show you guys how to do that. Before we get into it, you're watching The Entrepreneur. You can basically follow my whole story from the start with nothing to eventually, hopefully, a successful online business. So learn from my mistakes, learn from my successes, hit that subscribe button and you'll find out. So let's get into the video. So the first thing to do when deciding to quit your job is knowing why you should quit your job. I mean, you must have a very good reason to have any doubts, but some reasons can be better than the other. And I would like to explain to you my reasons for quitting your job. So the first reason might be obvious, but it's basically that you're not doing anything that you love. From the moment that we get born till approximately 18 years old, you're a kid, you can run around, do whatever you want, be happy. From 18 years until around 65 or maybe even 70, you'll be working. You'll be working, you'll probably be doing full time, you need an income, that's basically what you're gonna do. From 65 until around 80 when we die, you can go back being a kid again, having fun, do whatever you want, they don't care. So basically when you add those numbers up, You'll have 18 years plus 15 years, which is 32 years, you'll be having fun. You can do what you want, that's basically it. If you look at the time between 18 and 65, the time you'll be actually working, you'll be working 63 years. Is that correct? <laughs> you have 47 years of working. If you put this next to the years of having fun, you see that 60% of your life you'll be working. Are you actually stupid enough to do anything you don't like for 60% of your life? Hell no, quit your job. The second reason to consider quitting your job is that you're a person who hates Monday mornings and can't wait for it to be Friday. Friday is your favorite day, you know, it's a weekend. You can do what you want, you're having fun. If you're a person who has this, it's probably likely that you'll get depressed, you don't like your job. It's basically not a good idea to stay. The third reason to quit your job, which was mainly the case with me, is that your current job is not helping you forward towards achieving your lifelong dreams. For me, it was being an online entrepreneur. And if I stayed at a company, I would never be an entrepreneur, so I had to quit. So basically, if this job doesn't help you at all, uh, the best thing for you to do is to consider quitting your job because you want to achieve your dreams. You want to be happy and you will not do that if you stick here. So these are the main reasons why to quit your job. Uh, before we head into how to quit your job, I would actually like to know what you guys think about quitting your job and what your main reason is about having doubts or about even quitting your job. For me, it was being an online entrepreneur and I had to quit my job in order to pursue this but what has it been for you? So leave that in the comments below and I'll check them out. So now, how do you quit your job? Because I left in such a good manner it was actually pretty good and it made my life a hell lot easier after I quit my job and there are a few things I did. Reason number one is that I told the truth. You'll always have people who make up an excuse for quitting or trying to figure out a way to not tell the whole truth. That's basically not the way to do it. Because you quitting your job must have a good reason. And if you tell them the truth, they will accept that reason because it is a good reason. You must be a complete dick. Right? <laughs> not to 
respect the, the, the opinions of someone else and especially not from someone who's been busting his ass off within their company so if you're telling the truth they will not only respect you more but they even like you for telling the truth and also if you lie people will find out mostly they will see it's a lame excuse you know because they work with you 40 hours a week and you know they know you the second reason I left in a good manner is because I told them way up front. I told them way earlier. I actually told my manager that I was about to quit like four months before I actually quit it, which gave her four months to plan out my transfer and to basically adapt to me not being there. So if you go to your boss and you say, hey, I'm gonna quit and next month I'm gone, they're probably gonna have bad feelings about you and say like, oh, what the hell do I have to do now, you know? So telling them early is good. And I know a lot of people are scared to tell early and that their boss is gonna throw you out earlier than that you've planned out. But that's not the case because you gotta remember that uh, he wants the best for the company. And the best for the company is not to throw you out early because they will be left out to try and they, have a lot of work they haven't adapted to yet so it's best to keep you within the company a third reason is that you make the transfer easy for them i actually wrote a manual and gave it to my manager which described all the things i did not only the hard stuff but also the easy stuff because sorry what you gotta know is some things might be easier for you to do because you'll be doing it daily but if there's a new person doing your job, it might be hard for him to understand what, what it is he has to do. And to make it easier for them, just write down a manual. It will only take you a day and it will make life so much easier for your manager, but also for the person who's taking over your job. Number four is to ask for recommendations. Recommendations can help you out so much when you're looking for new jobs or even when you try to do a sale or anything it's just always good to have recommendations because people rather listen to someone who work with you than to listen to you because you could be lying and they don't know you so it's the best thing to ask it and probably if you told them the truth you told them early you made it the the, the manual i described they're gonna like you and they're more than happy to write you a recommendation the last reason which really helped me out a lot is that I saved up a lot of money. As I said, I told my manager four months before I was quitting that I was quitting. So that gave me four months to save up a lot of money and which I then could use to travel, which I'm doing right now, I'm currently in Sydney. But also there could be a time that you won't have any income, you still need food. So saving up money is always good to do. Uh, having that backup and it will give you more of a relaxing feeling to actually do your work better because if you're stressful it's gonna reflect on your work and it's just not good so save up i actually use a method on saving money and it gave me thousands of dollars on savings which i then could use to travel if you want to check that out i leave a description below uh, it's a pdf it's for free you can download it just check it out you've made it to the end of this video so what are you doing? Please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, help me out and I will see you in the next video.